Hello everyone and welcome back to Patty's Hobby World. Uh, we're going to uh, work on this a little bit more and I'll tell you what happened. Yes, something happened. Uh, but, you know, you learn. So, um, let's get started. Let me, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more so you can see the whole picture. Because we're going to work on the uh, everything else. I think I got, uh, we'll do the presents. We'll hurry up and get the presents done and then we'll do the background. So, anyway, I, uh, remember I colored one of the, the, I think it was the second day, the second video. Mm -mm. I hope you got what you're drinking. Um, it was the first, the first, um, the first one I started. So I played music, right? Because I got um, YouTube Prime, so I thought I could listen to the music while I was um, coloring, I guess. And uh, so no, that was a no-no. So I got a, a, I don't know, I forgot what the name of it was, a something claim. On the video my video was portion um partially blocked for having music so i got a notice and uh basically he said you know the the artist can file a claim da, da, da. and i'm thinking you know what really you know <laughs> after what everything that's going on in, in this world right now with coronavirus like, they, we, they need to give up a couple of songs but anyway um I, so I had to delete, I deleted it. They basically said there was really, I would have to wait for the uh, artist to decide if, you know, th they wanted to try to take my money or if I was uh, monetized. Uh, the video wouldn't be monetized, wouldn't be used credit, you know, the, the hours or the minutes, I should say, wouldn't be added to the uh, monetization. So... So I just deleted it. So I don't know if anybody watched it. Um, but that's what happened. So I deleted it just to... So no music unless it's coming from the... From your... Uh, where you manage your videos. And you can add lyrics. I mean music. From there. Or you purchased or you downloaded some free... I forgot what those apps are that you can download. You can use uh, free music. So, lesson learned. So, so let's get this one done. And uh, move on. See, I don't want this one because it's just too, you know what, I'll use it. For this dark one down here. When you use the dark colors, they're just so dark. But I'll use it. Yeah, so I deleted it. So if you're wondering where it is, it is gown. So it was the first one. Uh, I'll use my gray so you can kind of see. Um, I just need to look at it. Sorry, I just need to turn around just so I can get an idea. Uh, where it is. Okay, so there it is. There's the box lid. So there's the lid. There it is. Um, I don't know what this is in between, but let's just make that part of the box. Because there's the ribbon. And then there is the... Oh, I just did away with the tag. Okay, it's alright. I will fix it. 
um, when I took when I look at the versions, the beautiful versions that came with these photos. I don't know. They just look great. I don't know if they're doing it in a paint shop or something. But when I try to create what the version that they've done, I'm going to need number three because I'll be able to see it. Let's just create a little lid. Okay, and then let's do a little tag. Little lid, little box top. Remember I told you about shading? Even number three is is hard to see. This is very dark, so I'm going to come in with a little black. Let's zoom that in because I want to. I want to really show you guys. I'm just going to add different colors to the boxes of the gifts. But I'm just going to show you. Let me see if I can scroll in. Okay, so you see how I colored it all purple. Let's see if I can get it to zoom out. It would be great if it would. Give it a second. There we go. There we go. Um, so then I had to use the marker, the gray marker, to show where the lid is. And the, uh, but even still. So I'm going to use my, my charcoal just to create. Because you can hardly see it. You want to. I want to see it. And even a black pencil is. Maybe I got to just go up. There. So you're limited to what color pencil, you know, the when you when you do this grayscale. Just gonna do a brown tag. This little Christmas tree in here. And then we'll do uh, let's do a yellow ribbon. And you can see with the, the, the deep grayscale how now this this would be beautiful if it wasn't had, if it didn't have too much grayscale because these are very light markers that I'm using I'm using the, the lightest of shades so you see that And I'll get my number one. I'll get my number one gray. Just make sure. That's about it. One, number three, maybe I'll do, this is going to be dark. Just so you can see a little bit of it. So it's going to be difficult to, uh, I mean, it's very gray, very grayscale. All right, so that's about the best I can do now. I don't know. Like I said, I cheated and looked at the other ones, but I don't know if they're using uh, some type of paint. They may be painting these pictures. So we're going to do the... Um, Finish the coat. 
finish coloring these boxes. What time do we have? Oh, we got plenty of time. So, yep. So, I had to delete it. So, uh, even if you want to listen to your music, um, you got to be careful. Okay, so let's just make these. Um, you know what? I'm going to hold off on the boxes. So I've got to I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with these. Let's um, let's work on the tree. You know what? That's not still. Uh, we're going to go all the way out, guys. I'm going to think about the boxes real quick. I'm done with the snowmen. The snowmen are good. Um, they're done. Um, like I said, I may go in with a little bit more shading to pronounce some. Like I can do this. Let's make sure. I hate when I do that. There's one thing about these pens. They're so hard to open. So something like that. You know, just to get that little bushy. Get a little bushy. so flat. Just move it around just a little bit. And I'm going to grab my, see once I get started with this highlighting thing, it's ugh. So, just a little bit. Let's do the tree now. I know that um, I still want to try to produce some green, some green um, pigment, and I don't know if you can see that, but this is going to be a tree back here, and I want. Just some some hint of green and I'm going to do the, the snow, I'm going to do them back in white so well, this is a snow drift back here I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it, I, and I like it very much. So let's do this one over here. Just in the trees. Just where the dark of the dark is. We gotta have some green. And I'm going to go back and see if I can pull it up on my cell phone. Just a little, so there's some floor. All right, can you see that? I'm hoping that you can. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, you can see it. There you go. 
All right, let's do the background and then we'll finish with the, uh, the Christmas boxes. So I need to look at those Christmas boxes and then we'll do the, the, um, the all the snowflakes. We can start with the snowflakes. This is number 10, number 10. Oh, oh, pen. I think there was one here. Okay. These will help to brighten, brighten um, the page. Make sure there's snow everywhere because it is a snowy scene. And make sure your snowflakes are random. You don't want to put him in a line. Let's give him a little couple snowflakes on his on his face. And we're going to do the snow boxes. Okay. Oh, there's one. There's one. Let's put one on his scarf. There's one up here. Let's do another one. Let's give these guys On his collar. Okay, we're gonna dust that. Okay, so that's that's good for right now. Oh, look at it's snowing really good. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get the uh, distressed ink out, and I think. We're not going to do green. We're not going to do brown. Okay, we're going to do the blue. Or we can, don't forget, we have the, um, we have this as well. So we may do a combination of the pastels. But let's see how this one works. This is ink. So. This is ink. So I'm going to put it on my, and see if it'll work. Okay, so I don't like it. No, I don't like it, unless I'm using the wrong. Nope, I don't like it. So I'm going to have to look, I'm going to watch YouTube and see um, what I'm doing wrong. All right, so let's go for the dark one first. And I like my little tray. Okay. And then let's go for the light over here in the corner. We might as well get it all out. And then I have medium and I'll put up here. Okay, so let's see how this works. Let's give it a go. So we're going to do dark first. We're going to do dark down in here. Here. I've got to take this off. And remember I told you I need to get a... Uh, a uh, smaller sponge. Um. Be careful. get on the snowmen so you want to be careful that's one of the, the um, drawbacks um, you know what I can do I can do I know what I'm gonna do go get a q-tip
Let me go get a Q-tip. Normally I'll have one up here. face there. Stuff is definitely powdery. And the powder will go everywhere. Okay. So we'll keep at that. You know, I thought about wetting it, but I'm like, there's no way wetting is not going to be a good, a good idea to wet the pastel. So I'll get the Q-tip and work in the crevices and uh, let me blow it off. And of course the whole table, the, uh, it's got chalk everywhere, but that's okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so we'll keep working on that. And then I got to look up the uh, Christmas boxes. I can do that on a cell phone. Okay, not too bad. Let me get my little uh, thing out. There. All right. There you go. So I'll continue to work on the back drop because it definitely needs a whole lot of work. And then I'm going to work the, the um, presence. And then I think we'll be done. And I'll sh uh, shoot that shot in just a few minutes. All right, thank you for stopping by again, and uh, as always, stay inspired and color, color, color. Thank you.